what would this channel be without comments? This is a channel built on you leaving comments. You are the reason the conversations grow. Here's a prime example. I made a video uh, talking about how playing a character of a different skin color is unacceptable, but you can use a fake accent and people aren't offended by that. So I made a video about that. Lots of great comments coming in, but I want to share a little bit of the comment I got from Fab French. Just the first couple of lines. I think he makes a great point and we need to explore this. Here we go. Quote, I have seen many American movies where they have cast white Spanish people that are supposed to be Mexicans. Since you said that Mexicans for people in the United States are mestizos, why are they casting Europeans for these roles? Penelope Cruz, Antonio Banderas, Paz Vega, all Europeans. Are Americans not able to distinguish mestizos to white people? Or the only fact to have a Spanish accent, which is quite different to the Mexican one actually, is enough to be thought as a mestizo, since you told us that being Mexican means being mestizo in the United States, end quote. And yeah, if you're new to my channel, by the way, anytime I talk about being Mexican, I'm not talking about the nationality. I don't care about the nationality. In the United States, it's part of our culture that we're more talking about someone being Mexican, as my grandmother was, as a first-generation Mexican-American. If I say she's 100% Mexican, I'm only talking about genetic markers, which predictably often people that are Mexican are going to be somewhere around half Native American, you know, Mayan, Aztec, etc. And somewhere around half European, specifically Spanish perhaps, right? That's what we're implying. We're never talking about nationality. We don't care about nationality, where you were born. We don't care that, that there are 100% Chinese people living in Mexico and that they're Mexican. We don't care about that. When we say Mexican, we just mean DNA, that's what we're talking about. Okay, so now that we're caught up to speed on that, I want to go back to the, the question or the point that's being made here that Americans are unable to distinguish the difference between someone who is European, you know, Spanish, versus someone who is mestizo, meaning that they have the mixed DNA from the natives who were originally in modern day Mexico mixed with the European DNA, which is the point, which is the case for me, you know, with me being the grandson of a Mexican American, that, that still holds up for me too. So is it that Americans cannot distinguish what a person who looks like in Spain versus a person who looks like, let's say from Mexico, can we tell the difference, especially if they're speaking Spanish? Does that throw us off enough? If they're speaking Spanish, you put a person from Spain next to a person from Mexico and they're both speaking Spanish to each other, can we tell the difference? And my instant answer is absolutely not. For me, I cannot, I don't know how to tell the difference between what a person looks like from Spain versus someone who, you know, is Mexican and has the same predictable DNA that most Mexican people have. And I know that's going to sound outrageous. That's the word I'm going to use. I know that has to sound outrageous. And I know by admitting that just now, what did I do? Let me see how many comments just came in about that. Five comments of people right now in real time saying that I'm an ignorant, ethnocentric American and my public school system failed me. They didn't teach me enough about world geography and history. Yeah, I get those comments all the time. But I'm being real and I'm being vulnerable with you. Because we have Mexico as our neighbor, and because we're so distanced from the nation of Spain, it all gets mixed up to us. And I've said it before and I'll say it again. Never in my life have I ever met a person from Spain. It's just never happened. I've never met a person from Spain. And I've even traveled the world. Do you need me to go through the nations I've been through? I've been to Trinidad and Tobago, Ecuador, New Zealand, uh, Thailand, South Korea, I feel like there's one more country I've been to. So I've been to, I've been to many countries, Canada. I've been to many countries. Never to my knowledge did I ever meet someone from Spain. And I don't know what a Spanish person looks like unless I Google Spanish person. And I, and I look and I look at these, you know, soccer players, uh, American football players, right? No. What do you your word is your word is football. 
So I'm split. I say soccer, soccer players, the Spanish teams. But see, when I look at those teams, well, but some of them are of African descent and some are of Middle Eastern descent. So I get mixed up. If you have the genetic markers of a Spanish person, I can't distinguish what you look like versus someone who is Mexican. And I love my, the person I always keep bringing up, Mario Lopez from Saved by the Bell. He's the instant go-to person for what a Mexican person should look like. But if, if him versus Antonio Banderas, how am I to know that Antonio is not, how do I know that he's from Spain and not anywhere else in South America or Central America or Mexico? How can I know? I can't. My eyes, it's like being colorblind, you know, because men are supposedly are a little, are by default colorblind compared to women. We, we, we can't see as many gradients of colors as women can. Look it up. Learn about it. All right. It's true. I think it's kind of that way with Americans as we compare Mexicans, people in South America in general, to speak Spanish versus people from the motherland of Spain. So again, I just want to remind you, it's totally okay if you want to say that I'm ignorant, stupid, and that my school system felt, you can say all of that here on a daily basis. Go ahead and leave that comment right here. It's cliche, it's, it's not original, but you're welcome to say that if you want to. But I was real with you today. I don't speak for all Americans, but I speak for many Americans. We can't distinguish between people from Spain and people who speak Spanish and are here in America somewhere, whether it's Mexico, uh, whether it's Central America, whether it's South America. We can't distinguish. How can we when we don't even know anything about Spain or Spanish people? We're, by default, we just don't know much about Spain other than the stereotypes that probably make Spanish people angry. To reduce Spain to bullfights, you know? And, you know, the flamingo dancing. But that's why I make these videos, because I want to learn, I want to broaden my mind on these things. So am I still ignorant? Am I ignorant for asking questions and for telling you my actual perspective? Is that ignorant? I say it's not. I say it's actually intelligent. But it's easier to say that I'm an American idiot. So however you want to size it up, you're welcome to say whatever you want to right here as long as you say something. Because I know that something I've said in this eight minute video has caused some kind of spark of a thought. And it's going from your brain down to your fingers to the comment section.